Okay, so the latest poll show that they're tied, so that'll be interesting. His Harvey's neck is like ridiculous. It's like Kurt Angle in like 2016. It's just like so thick, like a thumb. Okay, hey you lovely people, this is the finale of episode 2 of Batman the Telltale series and we've decided that we could visit Mayor Hill because he's trying to fuck over Bruce Wayne and we could choose whether Sorry, to do it as Batman or busy. Bruce Wayne do you and have an appointment? Uh, we decided to do it as uh, where the, the hell is her debate. head? What's happening? He really can't be disturbed right now. Excuse me, Mr. Wayne? You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor... ...will be fine. And if he fires, he'd just come to work for me. Deal? That's horrifying. Look, you can... Oh my god. This has happened, like, a lot. There's been, like, random shit, just... Bruce Wayne? Does he have a head? Does he have hair? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well. Straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. I think Deborah needs to work on getting a fucking head back, mate. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. A soft boy. I've never heard anyone called that before. That's excellent. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? Oh, look at that mist going over the streets. That's fucking awesome. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. I love that lighting. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. You forget who I'm you're talking to, you old melty-faced motherfucker. And all the judges bow their heads and say, Yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. We should be recording this. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow. But the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin. He won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. That was like a weird musical sting. Doing. You know, so far I'm like glad with like every choice we've made. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. 
and the, the cinematography in these is just really good as well. Like I love it. There's so much to love about it. It's great. All right, that was a quick chapter five, actually. Oh shit, we're like barreling through this one quicker than the first one, like by a mile. I think the first one's almost like two hours and we've done five chapters in maybe about an hour, if I'm being generous. It's kind of not worrying. All right, here's the thing, does it matter how good it is if it's, or how long it is if it's like really interesting to you? That's, that's an interesting thought. To me at least, I'm sure you guys are like, what the fuck is you on about? But I don't know, it's just interesting to think about. And I like the kind of stub, stubby bat ears. It's like, uh, Dark Knight Returns. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. And also the yellow isn't that bad because it's kind of more like the 1989... It's a plan of the old Monarch Theatre. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Michael Keaton Batman. Mm. So it kind of reminds me of that. It's like classic Batman. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be I'm safe. I'm alright with it. I kind of hate it at first. We'll probably change it for the second game, but still it's not that bad. Hells. Details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel to learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping Oz. The city needs you now more than ever. And it's got me, Alfred. <sighs> I'll uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne... All right, I'm not going to read all this out, but I'll, like, go over it and you can pause if you want to read it. Staff ...and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, did they ro uh, do the raid? But they did. Nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars okay, so the latest poll show that they're tied, so that'll be interesting. His, Harvey's neck is, like, ridiculous. It's like Kurt Angle in, like, 2016. It's just, like, so thick, like a thumb. Were made, ...with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path oh, so that to the mayor's office. Oh, well, obviously Despite it did, because it's like pretending so loud. Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and so and no one knows how it happened. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Okay, so what is there to look at other than... Were made okay, we've got a thing in the middle. The we've got our codex thing, but I'm already too fussed on that, so you can't know who everyone is. Man and woman. So let's look at these blueprints. Oh, the Monarch Theatre! Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. And I, I dig the car. Like, I like how it's even got like, the little bat ear flourishes, I guess. That is a loud car. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly... Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. 
They have me in some back room until the debate begins. Yeah, they're like saved in it, like three fucking nerds on computers. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real- Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's... I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. It does make sense to be fair. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money... I love the lights, like, flashing and just driving the cars the off. There's so much shit that I just love. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in what? public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say Look tonight, remember, eyes. you are always my friend. Harvey! I'd say maybe one complaint is maybe they could have had the, the Batmobile like a shade grayer. Because it's like a bit, it's like basically the same color as the road. Like if it was like a bit darker, I think it would look, I think it would like pop more, it'd be like a bit cooler. But I guess we'll never know. Maybe, maybe they do like changes to it in the second game, the second series, I don't know. Look Quite at that so shiny far. suit. Fucking love, I, I just love the whole aesthetic. Like everything about it is so great to me. I'm glad I took a chance on this, this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. It was fanboying with, like hero. every fucking episode. Although that fucking smoke was a bad choice. I don't know, I, don't, I hate that. I appreciate the sentiment, Jim. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. Okay, my thing just froze as well. That's not like a recording area. Okay, well, fucking hell. This thing needs to catch up. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. And her design's like really good as well. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. Goggles, the whole cat ear thing going on. That, um, incident in the bar. Awesome cat suit. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Good point. Even when he's on the job, he's still trying to get dent votes. What a guy. What a friend Bruce Wayne is. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate of the next mayor of Gotham City. Okay, so now they don't have the skulls. Did, did you think they decided to change that, or do you think they did the first one as like a pilot, and then people were like, oh, we don't like the design? So they've changed it? I wonder, I wonder what the reason for that is. 
city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a masked vigilante loose on our streets. The bandits will tackle it all. <gasps> Just a pie face. And she knocked him out with a, a jumping straddle. At least we know why they weren't responding. Yes, at least we know they weren't responding because they've been shot. We found one of your patrols. To death. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn oh, sons of Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Program. First order of business. He sounds more brummy. Oh, oh shit, he's he's fucking in the head. That's, that's one way to make an entrance. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. Actually, maybe one thing I'm not keen on, the bat thing, is like them circles around his ears. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. And in Killer Croc's case, armed with teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Yes. Thank you Wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. I'm here all week. I'm here all week. Try the seafood. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. I like his voice like that one. It's like kind of... Three hostiles. Gotta take him out quietly. Raspy, that's like scarier than his just kind of wacky impression of an English accent. Cockney. Cockney geezer. Right, what are we trying to do here? Okay, examine, okay. Ah, so it is like the first one where we had to like link stuff to how we'd take them down. So pick up lights and then twat them on the head with it. Ooh, so can we not... Alright, I thought we'd go, could go for the TV, but I guess not. The door or the table. Let's go for the door. You can change your mind afterwards, but I mean, it doesn't matter. They're going to get take down, taken down either way, so... He just runs like... Boots him through the door. Yeah, that's a good way. And then we'll like enter on the stage and I'll be like, what? Are we gonna use a camera here for this guy? So camera stand or that's it. Oh, or, or the or the TV. Hmm, TV. Hopefully you like pick him up and like throw him like head first. Okay, yeah, there you go. Ratchet, and kicking each other up all in courage. Rule three. Oh, I was hoping we'd burst through it. Where's that guy looking? Batarang to the head. That's one thing, he's barely used batarangs in this. Maybe next time. <laughs> and if they're all reporters... Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. If Vicky Vilsa, you'd think that's like the press room or something. And now, a word from our sponsor. My brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. 
Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Ouchie. Again, it's not in focus. And again, it's not in focus. Unless, unless it's because... Okay, I get it. We're mainly like looking at their like front row camera view. That makes sense. It's very, it's very laggy in parts. Other than that, like everything about the game itself is great. It's just like kind of some of the technical hiccups have been kind of distracting. But the actual game itself is solid as fuck. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage! It's not to leave the same city. This is meant to be Subject now. Nine, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane. I thought this was like and an old thing. committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We both play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. I don't know what keeps- something keeps flashing up, I don't know what it is. Now you know! Now you will see! Certainly know how to make an entrance. Oh. Barang! There we go, Barang. Go! Why don't you kick a crab out of here? Are we gonna have that thing coming behind him? Oh no! I like that! No. Please, I need a hand. You go, never. Punch in the kid. Oh, I took out Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. Get her back, my poor old mum. So this is for her. Don't let you kill anyone else! Damn, Harvey. Like your turn, yeah, the camera's still rolling, he's won. Oh no, he's dead! I was gonna say, if the cameras are still rolling, he's won the fucking election. But I guess he would've won it by default anyway now. Ooh, that's nasty. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't Please. even turn up! <laughs> Batman! <laughs> the revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit. Come on, back around. A uh, cow woman can deal with herself. Mr. Dent. Maybe we can take that away and do some like tests on it. If they just like straight up shot there, I would have been like, oh shit, this is gonna go like anywhere. This series is just crazy. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant? He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Cool. So I wonder if this is going to be a new guy or this is going to be someone in disguise. All right then, so there you go. That is the end of episode two, Children of Arkham. And uh, uh, again, like last time, we'll just cycle through these choices. Uh, so yeah, one of the main things to take away there is that obviously Mayor Hill was behind Thomas Wayne being killed. So he is killed. I was confused there. Because the way Calvin was talking was like he was alive. But then we know he's dead because he got shot in front of us. So it's just kind of a weird... She's like, I thought your dad was dead. So I don't really get what's going on there. I think they were working together and he was doing weird experiments and Mayor Hill had him killed. But now Mayor Hill's killed. So now how the fuck are we going to get answers, you know, or like delve deeper into this? I'm sure these Children of Arkham people might be some sort of lead into that, but I guess we'll find out. And like last time, I'm not going to look at the next time on because I like it to be a surprise. So you guys can have the, the pleasure of experiencing that. Or if you want to keep it a surprise like me, you can just not look as well. Oh, really? Only 37.9 people saved Harvey. That's interesting. Because, uh, yeah, you would think most people would save Catwoman since they'd know she could handle herself. So whatever. That's kind of weird. But anyway, that being said, another enjoyable episode, at least in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And join me next time for episode three, where hopefully they'll continue on with this great form. Really enjoyable. Hope you guys are loving it as well. So that being said, I've been Nick's Plays. That was Batman the Telltale Series episode two. And I'll catch you guys next time for Batman the Telltale Series episode three. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Next time on Batman the Telltale Series. Batman, save me. 
But I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want.